had my eye on that hole in one for just a second. <laughs> It smells like a tire. What's up guys? Out here today filming a video for you testing some wedges, the Top Flight Gamer Tour wedges. Uh, so we're out here today at Westdale Hills Golf Course. It is a beautiful nine hole par three course. Never played here before. So a little bit about these wedges is they are from Golf Galaxy, Top Flight obviously exclusive or owned by Dick Sporting Goods Golf Galaxy. So I have the brand new 60 degree wedge, Top Flight Gamer Tour that we'll be testing uh, at 60 degrees. So that is brand new. See there, CNC milled grind or milled face for greater spin it says. Also I have the full set. So I've got the 56 degree, which is uh, 12 bounds and the 52 degree, which is muddy right now, which is 10 bounds. I'll be playing those. Those I've had for a couple of months. I'll show you more in depth later on those. I'll be able to show you the wear and tear on the old ones. And we'll use some of those for the longer holes, but let's get started. Bled off a little to the right there, but as long as it's not in that bunker, we should be good. Or even if it is, I'll show you some bunker shots. But one thing to note about this wedge, the grip that it comes with, I mean, it's like their own knockoff tour velvet style grip. Folks in the, it says top flight on the top. It smells like a tire. So it's definitely one of those grips that if you're wearing a white glove, it's gonna get all black from the, from the grip. I recommend changing these out. That's what I did with the other two that I have, the 52, 56. I'll get this one changed, but wanted to test this one out as is. It's a little short, a little to the right, but still play. I'm gonna to try to fly this over the bunker here with the 50 with the uh, 60. <laughs> Barely. So today I might just kind of show you guys some random shots. A couple of holes, I'll hit a few balls to kind of show you where they land, kind of spin we can get from the, the wedges. Other than that, it's nasty wind. It's a little bit about the price of the wedges. So each wedge is 50 bucks, but both times that I bought these wedges, they had them on sale. If you buy two, two for 90. And it could be wedges or putters from Top Flight, like Golf Galaxy or Dick. So if you bought two wedges for 90, bought the whole set, you can get it for 140. Or if you even wanted to go the route and get a putter too, you can get that added on. I mean, the, the, the wedges are aimed for, if instead of spending 150 on one wedge, like a Vokey or Callaway or whatever, then you do 150 for a whole set. Once I lower my handicap a little bit, can shoot some lower scores, then I'll uh, donate these to somebody or give them away and then get some nice wedges. But for now, they've been great for me so far and uh, testing out the 60 today. Let's see what we got. The 77 into this flag here. So just off, I didn't think the green, it's a tiny little green right here. So just off the green, and actually look at that. Some backspin, a little crater right there. I'll fix that in a sec, but. And that's a good four feet of, uh, of backspin. So we'll go another 60 to get up, up and down for par, hopefully. So let's do this. 
So I'm heading on to hole number five of this par nine, par, or par three, nine hole course. You guys, if you're new, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, comment, tag your friends who might be interested in these wedges. As I'm out of breath walking in this wind with this heavy bag with three clubs in it. <laughs> We're gonna finish this out, I'll show you some holes and then kind of give you the final judgment at the end. And you can kind of be the judge of some of the shots too. Just don't judge me, judge the club. If I suck, it's the club. Unless I do really good and it's me. No way. That's probably one of those that looks way closer than it is, but perfect shot on the right side of the green. Kicked left, rolled right to the back side of the hole. I had my eye on that hole in one for just a second. <sighs> Much further than I thought. <laughs> it was exciting nonetheless. We are here on the ninth final hole, walking up to the green after that shot. Blood off a little bit to the right. Um, still a good shot about pin high just off the green. I'll show it to you here in a sec. But once we finish, uh, finish this hole, we will go take a look at my final thoughts on the wedges. I'll show you what the wedge looks like after one nine hole uh, round using it uh, quite a bit. And I'll also show you how they fare after a couple of months with my 52 and 56. So let's finish this hole out, get to that. And then we'll do that, because that's what I just said. All right. Didn't break. All right, so I was going to do the end of the video in my car, but there was some cut type of trash can situation where they needed me to move my car right away uh, so they can move this trash can. So I'm going to do this at my house in my little golf corner of the garage. And so this, I mean, they still got some mud on there, but let me show you the 60 degree first. You kind of see a little, you know, a little wear and tear on there so far. It's mostly, uh, mostly mud. It held up pretty well. A couple scuffs there on the hosel. Kind of see those, but let me show you the 56 because this is the one I use the most. I got the 52 and the 56 at the same time a couple of months ago. And you kind of see there, Right there how flat it is. It kind of takes this finish off. So overall, I'll go ahead and say overall the wedges, they're pretty good. If you need a club, uh, I mean on a budget, like I said, 50 bucks each. And then like so most of the time Golf Galaxy is doing the two for 90 deal. And then you can get these a set with a putter for 180 or without a putter for like 145. So, but overall they're great. The Three downsides that I have with these. One, if you like that that kind of gunmetal finish, it's nice, but like I said, they scuff up over time, so that's gonna wear. But I mean, if you're spending 50 bucks, that's kind of what you're getting. So other con is that they don't come in different variations. 
52 is a 10 bounce, 56 is a 12 bounce, 60 is an eight bounce. And so that's the only variation that they offer. So there's no customization. You can't change, I mean, you can change the shafts and stuff if you want, but I wouldn't recommend that because it's just, just get a better, nice wedge and get fitted for it. And the final con is the grips. So this is the grip that I have on my other two. I haven't got this one re-gripped yet, but I'm going to the 60 degree. There's that grip again that I showed you about. It smells like a car tire. It's not the best quality. So you can get that re-gripped for at least, for like a minimum of eight bucks. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but those are the three cons that I have. I think that uh, overall, good purchases, good buys, and you can't go wrong with them, especially for your mid handicapper. I think that they're perfect for that or a high handicapper. So let me know what you think of this video and comment down below what you wanna see next. If you wanna see more uh, reviews like this, more course vlogs, but you know, training aids, what do you want me to test out? Uh, let me know and we'll see you next time.